Hello, yes, Antifa are irrelevant and redundant. That is, once you stop the marches, the demos, uh, public meetings, anywhere, or anything, should I say, anything where the enemy can organise and attack you. Once you stop that and you replace it with sensible adult professional politics like leafleting, council estates, shopping centres unannounced, knocking on doors, talking to our people, addressing their local issues, worries, concerns, tragedies. Once you replace it with that, they are redundant, right? They're finished. Yet, yet, it's all been resurrected again, hasn't it? You think this was the 70s on, or 80s or even in the mid 90s? Hasn't anyone learned anything? Well, of course, you all have, of course. Nick Griffin has, he knows it's a load of shite, but he won't say no, I don't know why. On his Facebook, just posting news articles and giving his slants on it. That's achieving zilch. Maybe there's a bigger picture behind it. Maybe you're a bit more shrewd than I give you credit for. But, Christ, I can't figure it out why, why you're just doing what you're doing. But anyway, let's get back to Antifa. Um, the irrelevant and redundant. Once you stop the marches, demos, public meetings and other activity where they can organise and attack you, the press can be there and film it. And when you watch that spectacle of Charlottesville, the alternative right were a bunch of wankers as well, weren't they? They couldn't fight sleep, lick a, lick a stamp or put the cats out. They were useless. Fucking useless. Right? And anti would even worse. So, what makes you believe, millennial woes and all the rest of them, that we have to defeat anti and the road to the palace will be in front of us? Whoa. Why do you believe that nonsense? This is where our enemies want us in a playpen, fighting Antifa, doing nothing, and eventually giving the government or governments around the world an excuse to bring out real draconian laws. Because they'd have to in the end, if you had this pantomime circus every other week or whenever, they'd have to, right? They were playing right into their hands, courtesy of the spies like Richard Spence and Millennial Woes and all the rest of them, Matthew Heinbach and whatever. You see, Millennial Woes talks like he's some veteran street activist and his unrivaled experience in the uh, field of uh, street politics. Uh, he's got no experience at all in our movements. He's been a media creation. That's what happens being a media creation. And he's now a YouTube superstar amongst the uh, white nationalist movement. And it shows you how easy it is for our enemies to put their spies right up there. Right up there, so simple, so easy. And also, given the, or should I say, given the controversial opinions I have, the infiltration of the movement, the spies that I name, and the strategy that I believe is the way forward. Not one of these blogs or YouTube, whatever they are, nationalist radio stations, whatever, Red Ice, Red Ice Radio is an example. None of them ever asked for an interview. Not one. And given the period of time I've been involved in politics, a lot longer than before some of these were born in fact right you know um not one's ever asked for one not that i want one or need one i've got this and that will do how long it lasts i don't know we shall see as nick griffin used to say he may still say that but antifa is irrelevant and redundant so why go and engage with them which then and has demonized our cause donald trump's getting the blame now like, he was at Charlottesville, he was leading the alternative right. You thought you would think now, the stick he's coming under, that he was actually at Charlottesville, he organised it. And our enemies are quite happy now with Donald Trump being uh, tainted with the neo-Nazi, Ku Klux Klan, white supremacist, uh, you know, brush. I'm, I'm sure they are, courtesy of Richard Spencer. And also, as well, I forgot to mention... Have a look at the state of them Ku Klux Klan guys at Charlottesville. I mean, come on. How can anyone take them serious? Well, you're not meant to. It's meant to scare our people away. Neo-Nazis are the same. Those with shields and crash helmets on. And how are you meant to? Well, we're not. That's just it. We're not. And you've got all the self-appointed experts now on the internet. Millennial Woes, Red Ice Radio, all of them now. Torn about anti fat and... Uh, what, what the alternative right must do and it's just the continuation of the pantomime and circus the freak show comedy sketch you know it's embarrassing just go and have a look at some of them uh clips on youtube even the alternative right with a gang of pussies you know like i've said they couldn't fight sleep lick a stamp or put the cat out right so 
Why do these people believe that the only obstacle, the only barrier between us and the road to the palace is Antifa? Nothing could be further from the truth. We have to win our people over. We have to go into the communities where they all speak to them and offer them real sensible solutions that will resolve their issues, problems, worries, troubles, concerns and tragedies. But no, let's fight Antifa. Okay, thank you.